I am Michael Payne and you're watching SBTV Insights. I was raised in a staunch Catholic music loving home. So my parents would uh, quite often play stuff like Voice of the Cross, which is like a sort of Nigerian um, church band, if you like. Uh, Oliver the Cock, which is like sort of Nigerian folk music. They used to play a lot of like Irish folk music as well. Uh, a lot of Bob Marley, Jackson 5, Michael Jackson. Um, and then I got into hip hop when my sister came home with, uh, with Biggie's album, actually, um, Ready to Die. And I'd been writing quite a lot anyway. I used to like write a bit of poetry and prose and stuff. But my sister brought home Ready to Die and uh, yeah, hit me like a ton of bricks. Yeah, re really sort of, um, you know, soaked up all that good, wholesome East Coast hip hop essence. Uh, and yeah, quickly got into like other albums and other acts and stuff. The internet, <laughs> you know, that, that is the biggest pro and con uh, that there's ever been, I think, in history. Because especially for for uh, recording artists or performing artists or whatever, um, because obviously you know there, there's there's never been more choice um, for for a consumer for for a music lover. You either pay for it or you don't. It's as simple as that. And um, but you know the the, the pros. I, I don't know if they outweigh the cons, but there are some really good pros. Obviously, you know sharing is is the best thing. You know, even if you're unsigned, you can have a really sort of fruitful career because of the internet, um, just the, you know, the capacity to, to, to share information has never been greater. And yeah, again, you know, even with the, the industry, there's never been more choice. You know, we've got so many sort of stars now. It's, uh, you know, people are really, really making a, a, a dent um, using a, a sort of UK fan base alone before going on to try and sort of conquer Europe and America, which is really cool. Um, and, he, you know, with, with black music as well, there's always been um, a sort of, not a stigma around it, but there's, the, you know, before sort of this, this generation, there haven't been that many, you know, huge, you know, m mega stars, you know, coming from black music. Um, this is, this is one of the best times. And obviously that sort of directly affects me. Um, but at the same time, you know, there is, there is a lot of man, you know, manufactured music, you know, with because of uh, reality shows is kind of the order of the day, in in some people's um, in some people's heads. So there is this massive clash, you know, what is, you know, and and, and the, the, then there's been this massive sort of um, stigma around pop music, um, and people think they can define pop music with a sound. Or when when I personally think pop music is a zeitgeist, it's what's popular. Uh, at that time and uh, so you know arguably Wu-Tang have made pop records in a way because they've had you know very commercially successful songs so where do you draw the line um, I think I think there is a lot of following um, being done at the moment um, people sort of coming up with a sound and a lot of people sort of following suit and you know they're, they're, it's all good being directly inspired by something but you know, so obviously copying stuff isn't really my cup of tea. Um, so, yeah, it, it's hard to sort of describe it in a nutshell. I think it's, you know, it's it's growing, but, you know, some, some things are growing positively and some things are growing negatively. It's funny, like, you spend ages thinking about what, how you're going to feel if you get signed. Do you know what I mean? You think... Is it a feeling akin to winning the lottery? Like, it's like getting a new job. It's like getting that job that you've wanted for a while. Um, there's a bit of a stigma surrounding getting signed as well because of some labels just, you know, basically fuck up artists. Um, you, they they can kind of slow you down. But my my label personally is they we we we've, we've kept things because everything happened organically before I signed. Um, and we've pretty much kept things like that. You know, I've got a very good relationship with my booking agent, who in turn has a very close relationship with my label. And everyone is abreast of everything day to day, so there's never anything um, that anyone's missed. And and you know, there's there there is no room for error in a music career, basically. 
um, one slip up and it could potentially ruin your whole career. But um, yeah, it's been it's been good so far, and 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 it's it's kind of been exactly as I imagined it would be. To be honest, man, like I didn't expect to go into it. I'm I'm you know I'm a mature human being. I didn't expect to go into it. Oh, you get signed, and all of a sudden you're at like all the movie premieres and like you know dating celebrities and stuff like that. Um, but like, yeah, there's been some there's been some really cool things happening, you know. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much exactly as I imagined it to be. But at the same time, I don't think that people should actively seek to get signed. Labels should always come to you, I think, with a good deal. I don't think, I think the uh, the, the days of um, sort of, you know, making a couple of songs and then like going straight into labels with it, that should, that should be over by now, hopefully, man. Like people should be just getting a fan base through the internet, through live gigs and that, and just letting the necessary people come to them. I got heckled once. That I think that was my biggest knockback actually. Get my my um most upsetting thing that's ever happened to me since I started uh, performing. I did a I did the support tour with um Mac Miller, his first UK tour, and we were at um Shepherd's Bush Empire, and I'd never been heckled before. But then it, uh, this was the beginning of my life as a support act, and uh, yeah, like just some dickheads in in the sort of uh front few rows we just start it's it actually started with my mate my mate came on and because these kids were like the cool kids and they have their uh even though they're like super individual it's ironic that they all dress exactly the same and they started throwing homophobic abuse at my mate um because he was dressed a bit differently he dressed in skinny jeans and he's like an indie boy and that the thing is, he's not even gay. But even if he was, it has nothing to do with what we were doing on stage, if you get what I'm saying. And like I said, you know, I was standing next to him on the stage, so I took it upon myself to sort of defend him and then I started trading insults with the guys in the crowd from the stage. And uh, obviously he left the stage after a couple of songs, but I was still on the stage for another sort of 15 minutes. And they just heckled and heckled and heckled. Um, but they didn't break me. I, I carried on. I did the whole set, and it was literally such a small, such a minority um that it wasn't enough to sort of stop the show but it was enough to like really really piss me off um and i've never really forgotten that <sighs> cliche as it sounds just keep being yourself to keep doing you um after a while you'll find your forte when it comes to being an artist i think a lot of artists have got different fortes you know some are better live than others um some you know some you know they actually write their own songs right better than others and and you know will go down as uh some of the best songwriters of our generation um but i think just just find your forte naturally don't rush into anything and just just keep keep the art alive basically keep the art in whatever you do alive and the business should come along later and you know don't be bitter as well a lot of people grow up bitter at certain sort of uh factions within the industry because you know they didn't you know that that you know said faction might not have given them the opportunity that they f feel they deserved um yeah but don't be bitter man just be nice just be nice and uh yeah just do it do it as much as you can on your own if you have to assign you know other things to other people you know the business side is the thing that gets in the way of the art i think and yeah keep keep you can't, it's damn near impossible to keep them separated, but time and a place.